Okay. Yeah, we you know, we absorbed Haiti. But I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that I expect um, Haitians to come here and just and, no, and, no, and mess I, stuff up. no. I don't I I don't expect Haitians to come here and tear shit up at all. I expect Haitians to come here, be promised a bunch of shit, not get it, and some of them flip the fuck out like no other. And then so-called, quote unquote, some of the so-called American right will say, once again, look at black people tearing up and cutting up. That's what I'm saying is going to happen. They're going to use these Haitian people for every physical excuse possible to better further All right, so at the, a at the twisted end of the day, agenda. We, we, can assume, we can assume that the Haitians will fall into a, the same category as the rest of them, being deprived the, deprived of um, being deprived basically. Yeah. Being held down. So at the end of the day you know, nothing's changed, you know, so yeah, and, 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 and then once again, like I said, there's going to be a group of people, damn, they cut that video short too. They just, man, they're just cutting them short on me, man. I mean, it's going to be a group of people that's going to resent these people being here. There's going to be a group of people claiming that these people are taking jobs. There's going to be a group of people in this country claiming that these people are taking their benefits. There's going to be a group of people claiming all kind of shit on these people based on their situation and that ain't right. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, it's a, hang around people like that. It's a, no. I won't know them. Look, <laughs> you might not them. hang around people like that, but that will be the Thank undertow. With the, if you're in the New York area, they're going to start seeing hey, more and more Haitian people and they're going to excuse the excuse to fuck with them or, or to bother them is because they're taking something from me. And that's what I see us leading to. Leading the people into a bunch of stress for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're sending tents and they're sending this. Okay. Look, 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 I watch the news, right? They're talking about America sent so many tents. Every fucking cent titty, the tent. They're talking about how many tents have been sent over there to Haiti. Every tent city I saw on TV was made up out of sheets. These people had sheets and blankets for tents. So how can you say you send in tents to help these people if every tent city has got tents made out of sheets? Come on, man. Come on. You see what I'm saying? You telling me you got tents with the flower print on them? You know what I mean? One size flowers, one size just regular white sheet. That's a tent that somebody from America sunk over there? It's bullshit. Oh, yeah, man. They just moving money around. Well, oh, it is, man. I'm, I'm watching the, the news and they say, donate to the <laughs> Bush Clinton Haiti Fund. Not the <laughs> Haiti Fund sponsored by Bush, the Bush and Clinton Haiti Fund. Hey. Now, in the end, when there's a tax write off, that's going to say Bush and Clinton on it. Mm. Right? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think, you know, out the box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can you imagine? They just move the money around. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that tax write-off? Cause your name is on the on the on the uh, on the charity. The Bush Clinton Fund. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did they? How much they put in to start this? You feel me? Come on, man. I can launder money better than that. Hey man, let me get on out of here. I gotta get ready. We're having BLTs. I don't know why we're having bacon, lettuce, and, and, and tomato sandwiches for dinner, but my wife wants BLTs. I don't, I, you know, I, I'm gonna make me a bacon double cheeseburger, honestly. But other than that, I'm gonna get ready to go cook some food. I'm glad we got to talk about this, but most of these videos didn't come out. A lot of them are still publishing, and, um, you know, they all stopping at different times and shit. Yeah, maybe uh, I'll call back tomorrow. We could just do a summary. Yeah. In the summary, just keep it to 10 minutes. It's a 10 minute summary on all that. I'm saying, it's like, I hope that a lot of stuff that I saw in the little vision don't come true because I showed 
I sure hope America is ready for this. But I'm saying, if somebody had to go bad, they have never seen no shit like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. You know these people will fuck you up. They're proud people. And in America, people like to fuck with the uh, underdog for no reason at all. And these people ain't like us. They're not going to just get stepped on and, and turn over. They're by themselves. There's nobody with them. They are united within their own. You ain't never seen a group of united black people until you've seen this group. Most black people in America, you know, hey, we got our own ways. But this is a group of people. They don't speak English. So they ain't got to be, you know, worried about somebody understanding exactly what the fuck they saying when they trying to say this shit ain't right. You're going to need an interpreter. You know what I mean? They trying to tell you some shit ain't right. You're like, fuck you, man. You fucking black Asian nigga, motherfucker. Next thing you know, motherfucker will get hacked in the side of the neck. You know what I'm saying? Fucking nigga, you going to do what? What? It's on. Ain't no, ain't no calling these people niggas and fucking with them. Ain't, ain't, ain't none of that shit. Ain't none of that bowing down to a motherfucker by this group of people. And these people in America like to fuck with people who they think can't understand them. And people don't like to be fucked with. And like I'm telling you, I can see it happening, but I don't want it to happen. Because I don't want a handful of people to mess it up for a whole bunch of people. But that's how it works. Yeah, man. It can't mess it up. It's only in our mind. It ain't no mess ups, you know. That's created. It's an illusion. You know? It's yeah, cause like people, deals, you know? You stress out when you can't pay bills. It's an illusion, man. Yeah, but see, these people, they ain't, they, they ain't, got, they ain't met that. They haven't met that. They haven't met that debt slavery. They haven't met that. Once they meet that, it's not like dealing with us, man. Hey man, I gotta go, man. And hopefully this video stay up here. I'm not even gonna name, name these or title them. No titles, no nothing. Take it easy, man. All right, I love you, nephew. See you soon, man. Yep. Later. Take it easy.